Sorry, y'all. We had a technical difficulty. Give us one second. Great morning, great morning, and great morning to our Kluger family. We take this opportunity to welcome our families, our students and staff, to our National Junior Honor Society induction ceremony for the 2021-22 school year. We appreciate you taking time from your busy schedules to join us in the excitement for today. Let's prepare to celebrate our student honorees at this time. Let's celebrate. Thank you, Dr. Goldsmith. And good morning, my name is Ms. Hampton. I am the National Junior Honor Society advisor. The National Junior Honor Society um, is induction is here for us to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for successfully completing their candidacy and are being inducted as new members of our NJHS chapter. For current members and those former members who may be among our guests, we hope this will serve to remind you of the standards of excellence you too are charged with maintaining as members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition program. Our chapter is proud to restart inducing in, in the, our induction of members. We've had a chapter for several years and we have not had one in the last two or three years. So you all make up the first new set of National Junior Honor Society members. Throughout the year, you will serve as members and role models for other students. In addition to the strong academic records which establish the eligibility for membership, our chapter members are leaders in many student organizations, and we serve our school and community through many activities. We are proud of the accomplishments and welcome these new members who bring new energy in support of our continuing work as NJHS members. It is at this time we that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Kettering Middle School chapter of the National Junior Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through their effective demonstration of the four qualities 
that serve as standards for the society. Members of the chapter, which will be standing in by myself and Ms. Curtis, will now review these qualities for the candidates. So this will be the only time adults will actually do this program. Next year, the students before us will do this part as well. So we're going to go through the four qualities. The first one is scholarship. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understanding the present, and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. The next one is service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. The next one will be leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice. The willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individual, individuality, our goodness. It is that without which, excuse me, it is that without which no one can respect one's, oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and once developed, grows steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant thought and action. The daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others. To be to rather than to be rather than to seem. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value 
count. I am going to read citizenship. Citizenship. I represent citizenship. The obligations each member of this society faces to live up to the democratic ideas given to us by the founders of our country. The responsibility each of us has to our own community, our state, our nation, and our world are many. As good citizens, we are bound to live up to the laws and guidelines which unite us as our fellow citizens. Good citizenship requires that we remain strong and diligent in protecting the freedoms and rights that have been granted to us and in preventing injustice from entering our lives. We, the members of the chapter, we are called to live up to the high standards of citizenship from this day forward. Thank you. At this time, will the new inductees please rise? Raise your right hand and repeat the pledge. You can repeat after me. I pledge to maintain the standards by which I was selected. I pledge to maintain the standards by which I was selected. To uphold this pledge, I will. To uphold this pledge, I will. Strive for academic excellence with diligence and integrity. Strive for academic excellence with diligence and integrity. Lead by positive example. Lead by positive example. Volunteer my time and energy to lift up those in need in my community and world. Volunteer my time and energy to lift up those in need in my community and world. Be respectful in my words, actions, and deeds. Be respectful in my words, actions, and deeds. And actively participate in ways that express concern for my school and community. And actively participate in ways that express concern for my school and community. Congratulations. Thank you. You may be seated. We will now have the presentation of new members. At this time, when your name is called, you're going to come to the stage to receive your certificate and shake your hands. Andrew Arapetu. Aaron Arapetu. David Adjacent. Jordan Allen. Melissa Bonberry. <laughs> Samantha Cornwall. <laughs> Carla Ikawu.
London Allen. <laughs> Naomi E. Young Mackey. Trinity Gaylord. Mackenzie Hampton. Andrew Harris. David Hawkins. Jayla Haywood. Nicole Eva Zuluki. Leilani James. Sarah Joseph. Reagan Lane. Ola, 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 Talus, Martinez. Martin, Martin. Excuse me, Martin. Demarcus Mitchell. Grace Nisbet. Samuel Ona Bajo Sequoia. Christoph Josiah Orones. Mackenzie Poole. Cece Sangyo. No, no, Sanyo. Logan Sanders. Layla Thompson. Jaden White. Carter Corley. And Angel Who O Lex Excuse me, that's Angel Who Lex. Congratulations to the twenty twenty two National Junior Honor Society in Congratulations. I'm gonna turn it back over to Miss Hamilton. Thank you, and again, welcome new members to the Kettering Middle School chapter of the National Junior Honor Society. We are now going to conclude with Dr. Goldsmith with some encouraging words to leave us with. So in closing, to our Kettering Middle School Cooper staff, parents, and most of all, our student honorees, we are so incredibly proud of you and your accomplishments of being inducted into the National Junior Honor Society. 
What a prestigious honor to become part of the National Junior Honor Society. This organization elevates the school's commitment to the values of scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. These five pillars have been associated with membership and the organization since its inception in 1929. As a member, you have been selected because you, that's right, you, display the following. Scholarship. You maintain a cumulative GPA of a 3.5 or better. You deserve a round of applause for that. You deserve a round of applause. Service. You are involved in voluntary contributions, not only to the school, but to the community in which you live as well. Leadership. You have shown student leadership by being resourceful, a good problem solver, and making ideal contributions. We appreciate that. Character. You are a student of good character. You are cooperative. Demonstrate high standards of honesty and reliability. Shows courtesy, concern, respect for others, and generally maintain a clear, a clean disciplinary record. Again, applaud yourselves for that. <laughs> Citizenship. You understand the importance of civic engagement, demonstrates mature participation and responsibility in activities, such as maybe scouting in your community, community and organizations, or school clubs and organizations. In school, you are respectful to others and others' property. You're respectful of school property. You follow school rules. Demonstrate good character by being honest and dependable and give back to the Kettering Middle School community. As a result, you now have the opportunity to continue showing your commitment to service, leadership, character, and citizenship as a proud member of the Kettering Middle School chapter of the National Junior Honor Society. Congratulations, a job well done. Let's celebrate. Please hit that subscribe button at the bottom of your screen.